Now, one issue that we have is that, for example, when a user registers, it does create their account and it does redirect them to the home page, but there's almost no feedback whatsoever. Uh, so in situations like this, it's good to uh, flash some information to the session so that on the next page request, you can display a little message to the user. Something as simple as, thanks so much for signing up, you're all set. Okay, let's review how to do that using Laravel session facilities. So we're gonna go into our controllers, and you can apply this to any controller action where it makes sense to display a flash message on redirect. So for registration controller, this is what we have. Now we can use Laravel session function, or we can also get the session off of the request. Either one works. Now I like to use the session global helper. And the cool thing is that it's pretty flexible in how you use it. So let's take a look at this function. So you can give it a key and you can give it a default which means if I were to say, give me whatever is stored in the session for message, but here's a default message. So let's try that out in the terminal. PHP Artisan Tinker, give me what's stored in the session called message or default to this. However, if we come back, if it's an array, then we are going to put something into the session, which means I could say session, put this message key and make it equal to something custom. Okay, now if we run the previous query, we're not gonna get the default because message exists in the session, so we grab that. And again, we use sessions because HTTP is stateless. So if you wanna retain information or data for the user on subsequent page loads, we need to put it into the session. And finally, if we don't provide any arguments, it's going to return the session instance itself. So if I say session, we get an instance of session manager. Now though, we can also modify this a bit because as it stands, this uh, message key is going to exist for the length of the user session and that will be uh, regenerated each time you sign in. But you can also flash data to the session and that will be available for exactly one page load. So this is perfect for things like status messages. You flash something to the session and it will exist for exactly one request. And then after that, after we redirect right here, it will no longer be available. Okay, so let's try this. Let's flash a message that says, thanks so much for signing up. Great. Next, we redirect to the home page, And as you'll remember, the home page will load our posts. So let's switch over there and let's just see if we can fetch it. So right here, I'm just going to return directly. Session message. Okay, let's come back to Chrome and sign up a test user. We register, it creates the account, and there we go. We flashed this message to the session for exactly one request. So if I were to refresh it, it's no longer in the session, so we don't get anything at all. And in fact, in this case, null is being returned. Okay, so does this all make sense now? At this point, we can display it. Let's do something like this. Let's go to the layouts master file, and let's scroll down. Maybe we can place it right here. So we'll set up a div with the class of alert and alert success. And the role here will be an alert just for accessibility purposes. Okay, so let's say dummy message here. And if we switch back and refresh, we get our message here. And you can style this and position it however you want. So for example, you might wanna do like position absolute, give it a Z index, and then put it in like the bottom right-hand corner. There you go, you have your little flash message. And then you can use a bit of JavaScript to fade that out after a couple seconds. Okay, so now let's just update this to check. We could say if, there is a message in the session, and we'll save that to flash, then let's echo it out. Like so. Okay, so that means right now, on any request, it's not going to work. But if we sign up yet another user, we will see a flash message. Register, and there we go, we see the flash message. So why don't we do this? Let's go back to our master page at the very top. You could even extract this to a flash partial if you want. Uh, but let's give this an ID, maybe something like flash message, and then you can style this. So resources, assets, SAS, and place this wherever you want. You can say flash message, and once again, position is absolute, bottom 20 pixels, right 20 pixels, and then set as the index of 10. Okay, so we need to compile that down. There we go, and we should be all set now. So yeah, in closing, what you will do is visit a controller where you wish to alert the user. And usually this will be right before you redirect somewhere. So maybe after you publish a new post, 
Well, you want to set up a flash message where you say flash message will be your post has now been published. And you know what you could even do if you want? You could create your own dedicated flash message. So you could just say your message here and it feels a little cleaner. In fact, that's what I do in my own projects. But nonetheless, if we now say post create some post, paste in a body here, publish it, and there we go. You get your flash message. So yeah, the only remaining step is for you to write a little bit of JavaScript to fade that out after a second or two. And if you need any help with that at all, just leave a comment below this video and one of us will help you. So we give it a refresh and now it's gone. And that'll do it for this lesson.